Says she wanna take me away. Says she wanna show me the way. Baby, don't play no games, but to please me. Take time, take time. Slow eye, slow eye. Hi guys, welcome to BNG TV. I'm Basola Shapeju, and I know our setting is different. Yes. You're probably wondering where's the sofa from sofa to table to now this i kind of like this i don't do you like this setting yeah. he's just saying that because he didn't expect that question <laughs> but <laughs> but i like the setting okay so today i am here with kojo funds Yo. where did this name come from Ooh. i want stories I, I need you to tell me when you visioned the name and god gave you this is all of that um, <clears throat> well I think it was like, oh, 13. I was with a group of boys and obviously good friends. Mm -hmm. And we're doing certain things to make money. Okay. And we made a lot of money. Uh -huh. And we started to think to ourselves that, right, well, let's, let's give ourselves a name. Okay. And then my boy, Tony, um, he thought of the fun's name. Fun's, okay. So we started to call ourselves fans. Fans, and then yeah. The majority of us were Ghanaian. Kojo. Uh huh. Mm. So we had to. Kojo fans? You get me? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I already know the answer for this question. I was going to ask, are we allowed to know your actual name? But that's a no, which is so. I'll call you. Okay, I called the last one David. I'll call you Daniel. You know? Daniel. Bible. You know? Daniel. What do you mean? Yeah, you know, people. Samson. Samson. People. So what's wrong with the name Daniel? Because they'll come in. People who are called Daniel. Sorry, but you no. know that's, that's okay. Samson. We'll call him Sam. Sam. Samson. Like okay. Samson How old are you? Are we allowed to know that? Come on. No. What? Mm -mm. Okay. You're. You are. Twenty-three. Twenty-three. This is Samson, and he is twenty-three <laughs> yeah. years old. <laughs> what country are you from, Samson? Are we? Come on. Uh, okay, um, Ghanaian. You said. Half Ghanaian, half Dominican. Okay. Yeah. When did you begin music? This is story time. You have to oh, elaborate. Uh, um, uh, mm. In 2014, okay. um, it was one of my boy's birthday. Yeah. And we were in like a place where we chill. Yeah. And then we put on a beat and usually oh, that okay. a lot of people... Proper story, okay. Mm, yeah. A, a lot of people, like, a lot of us, like, like we freestyle and that for fun and that. Yeah. And then we all started freestyling. And then I jumped on. Yeah. And everybody was like feeling mm. it, you know what I mean? Yeah. So like, nah. And then someone said, you should do music. Exactly. Mm -hmm. That's how so, it starts. And then, funny enough, um, my boy Jay Vades, he had a studio in his house. Mm -hmm. He said, yeah, come true. Started freestyling. And then, then from there, that's it. From okay, there. so what made you do music instead of other talents you may have had? Um, like what other talents did you do you reckon you have other than music football right yeah. that's right yeah so of course do, yeah because <laughs> they say the same thing yeah okay so why did you want to do football i just got you know i was sidetracked oh okay I was playing football you know <laughs> that's, 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 that's that's it from there okay yeah. so do you believe, this is a proper question now, do you believe your song, Want From Me, is what put you on the map? Mm, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I definitely. believe that as well. Definitely. Okay, where did the inspiration of this song come from? <laughs> uh, um, <clears throat> obviously, um, I was seeing one girl. Okay. And, um, you know that? Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna lie, like. Uh, so what? I, you're asking her what does she want from you? Nah, nah. Let me. Okay, let me sorry, get sorry, there. Sorry, let me sorry, get sorry. there. Obviously, I had that uh, man. Enough, had feelings for the girl. You know what I mean? And then one time, uh, I heard she was like, you know, messing about with another oh, guy. You know what I mean? And it's like boom, like I locked it off from there. Mm -hmm. Oh, she's trying to holler me again. So, okay, nah, then it's what, so you want what do you want from me? me? Well, obviously, put that on the track and then boom. Okay, yeah. so what? when was the moment where you believe you actually started blowing up, where you thought, rah? Up, you know? Oh, what, do you reckon you're not blowing up? Nah. Okay, well, nah. where, when people actually 
started to listen to you? What moment was that? Um, well, when I took it in. I'm so excited for my next question, by the way. But yeah, when you started taking it in. Um, probably when I started getting a lot of shows. Mm. So I started realizing yeah. that we're all. Proper. Proper thing still. Okay. See, it's funny how I know everything you're going to say. It's crazy, isn't it? I've done this so many times. Okay, this is what people want to know. This is where the dreams comes in. And I told you already, you have to answer. You have to be real. It depends. No, though. it doesn't depend. Because Did you know Jay Huss was going to do a cover? No. No, you didn't know. Okay? That's no to that question. How did you feel when hearing this cover? Like, before anything, like... When you just heard it, like before anything else, how do you feel? Like, do you think, oh, all right, cool, we've done a cover, calm, or <laughs> was it like, that's like. Um, <clears throat> when I first heard it, I was like, right, like, where was getting in, you know? Okay, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. But obviously, I felt some type of way as well, mm. can't lie, because of some certain issues. But that's it. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. What do you say to those who believe his cover is better than yours? Your original. Nice one. Nice one. Just that's what you want to nice say. One. Nice, one. nice one. Okay. So we then like after this, this is what I know anyway. Like you you guys did go back to back on, you know. So what was the main reason? I, can't, I don't know if you'll even go into all of this. The way you're moving, yeah, I don't, I don't really know. But okay, what was the main reason behind the this? What do you mean? Like why the I, why yeah, why? Because yeah, why did you do a this if all he done was covered your song? This is nah, what people are thinking. Nah, nah, nah. So you're, you're saying that's. Do you know what happened? See, people aren't getting it, so you need uh, to tell people. Do you know what happened? Obviously. Um, where was that? Like, I was at home. And I'm, I wake up now and I see like spare messages in it, and phone calls. So I've I've replied to one. And they're like, yeah, like my man sent for you, you know. I'm like, huh? What do you mean, bro? I played it, mm. listened to it. I was like, bro, I swear down. This was like this was like ten in the morning. Okay. For my boy, I said, yo, take me studio. Boom, went to studio, laid the thing, and then I released it that night. Mm. So the initial reason was because my man sent for me first. Yeah. yeah. So I just replied. Mm -hmm. This is something that just literally popped in my head, yeah. There was one day like this, yeah, I'm not going to say too much, on Twitter, well, just, you know, pre and Twitter. And then, you know your phone... Mm. Yeah, let me, let me put it on silent, yeah. man. I'll just wait for you while you do that. <laughs> Okay, Sorry it's, it's fine. There was this one time on Twitter where um, something happened to Jay Hussia and everyone was talking about it. And then you, this is where I thought, oh my gosh, this guy's so mean. Like, this guy's horrible. Like, wow, you tweeted um, lean and lean and limp or something. Lean and lean and... Because obviously everyone knows Jay Hussia has a song called Lean and Bop. And obviously I think... He was in hospital, so then he tweeted lean and limp. Oh. That, that was mean. Like, why did you, why did you tweet that? I don't, I don't recall doing that, you know. No, no, this is where, you know what, you know what, people would recall anyway. I'm not, I didn't, I wasn't seeing things, because I remember, I think you deleted it after a while. Oh, you did delete it, but that's, that was just, I was just like, wow. <laughs> I know you don't want to claim it, but it's fine. Okay, you guys then when I think back to back we're making this is this this is just a general question. Was it was this real life or was it egged on for the fans? You know, some things are just carried on because of the impact they're making. Like, was it just after a while did it just get egged on for fans? No, I don't know. The thing is, people keep on thinking this. It's a music thing. It's not a music thing. It's We're both artists. Yeah, but, but it's not life. me. It's deeper than that. You know what I mean? Okay, this is the last question I'm asking you on it. I'm sorry. I know you're getting fed up. No. Nah, okay. Fine. How is the situation now? Is everyone best of friends or like you know? Is there going to be a, like song together soon? Is 
that's a no that's, they're not best of friends and they're not gonna have a song together okay yeah we can come off that now okay um this is this song is talked about so much my nine oh. what was the inspiration behind this song um story oh obviously i don't want to go too deep into yeah because it's a girl yeah so you a don't girl, wanna... nah. it's not about a girl you know it's not about a girl nah. okay it's about an object or an item <gasps> yes okay i understand yeah um, so you you just wrote so that's the inspiration yeah. <laughs> okay <laughs> 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 that she's let down. What are talking that, about? Huh? I know what you're talking you about. You sure? Yeah. Alright, cool. What do you mean? Of course I know. Oh, yeah, cool. I know what you're talking I know I watch movies. Okay, <laughs> favourite song of yours and why? <sighs> that's out. Yeah, that's out. Um, oh, that's a hard one. Yeah. I, I think my name. My name. I think that's my favourite one as well. Yeah. Okay, the song that's got everyone talking, Fine Wine, mm. how did this collab come together? Say a story. Uh, uh, obviously, um, me and Bane mm -hmm. are from the same hood. Yeah. And it's like, um, and sometimes we're the same studio. Mm -hmm. So one time, um, he was in the studio already, I went there. Yeah. GA, I think GA made a beat. Mm -hmm. and sent it to the studio. I walked in when he said, whoa, like, mm -hmm. heard I said, whoa. And I, st I started saying, said she wanted to take me away, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. And then Bane KB is like, uh, you get me? <laughs> yeah. So we just, so as soon as that, we just went back mm -hmm. to back. Yeah. And it took us like, probably like 10 minutes just to do the tune. Okay, so I'm going to ask you who your top three rated artists are. <sighs> um, Rich. Okay, yeah. <sighs> um, AJ Tracy. Okay. Ah, bro. Okay, what about your top three overrated? Overrated. This, this might put you off, but. Yeah, whoa. Yeah. Trying to draw me out. But... Overrated? No one's really overrated. Yeah, no, I was waiting for that. Mm. No, no one's, no one's trying to get themselves in trouble here. In trouble? In trouble with who? In trouble with the overrated, with the overrated people. I'll, I'll get in trouble with the overrated people. So that there are overrated people. So, mm. See how it? life works. <laughs> Listen. Hey. <laughs> this guy's funny. Okay. It's fine, you, you can just say, I don't want to answer. <sighs> I don't want to answer. And that's that. So, um, what do you think of um, UK platforms as a media platforms and how they, like, and what they do with people? You say, you say you're Afro Swing, so do you believe that they put people of that genre on? Like, do you, what are your thoughts on that? Um... I think, obviously, they're good platforms, you know what I mean? Yeah. And um, they push a lot of underground artists. But obviously, my type of that sound, not a lot of people are doing it. Yeah. So it's like, they hear it, I know if they, they like it, they'll, they'll push it. Mm -hmm. They push my music, so. Okay, so I'm, I'll just I'll ask you small, small girl questions, don't worry. <laughs> Don't worry. Um, okay, in terms of girls, in terms of girls, girl, maybe, you know. <laughs> like, <laughs> what? <laughs> wow, I am funny. Okay, what do you look for in a girl, girls? Like, what are your three main things? One, she has to be bubbly. Bubbly, okay. I mean, so I but you, interact, but, you know what I mean? Uh -huh. But you haven't even been interacting with me too tough on this thing. Uh, no one, I don't know. Okay, probably. Mm, probably. Obviously, she has to know how to dress. Mm -hmm, okay. I mean, yeah. that's key. 
Mm. And obviously, what's hair? She knows how to, you know what I mean? She knows what she's doing behind closed doors. Okay, like in right. terms of career right. and stuff like that. Oh, yeah, oh, career. Shit, no! <laughs> what? I mean, sorry, you know I sorry, mean? sorry. Behind closed doors. <laughs> Does. So you know, I actually don't do that on purpose. I actually thought you meant career, but now no, that's I understand. one though. That's one though. Because well, get... obviously, that's what I thought would be one of the three. It but is. I All guess right, cool. people right, cool. are different. Give me four, innit? Okay, four. Four. I understand that. Um, okay, so there's been topics on Twitter about um, like girls proposing to men and stuff like that. What are your thoughts on that? Would you ever want a girl? <sighs> To propose to you? Why not? Why not? And you'll say yes. Depending on the girl. But don't you think, I don't know, with the way society is, yeah, don't you think that will, because some boys will say, ah, oh, that will make me feel like less of a man Why? if a girl's proposing. And you, so what, you'll be like, oh, if yes. If you know, if you know, and your, your lady knows yeah. you're doing what you have to do, uh-huh. then why not, man? Then, yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. In terms of like first dates and stuff, paying, like girls paying, boys paying, what are your thoughts on that? I think, I think obviously the male should pay. Always or just first date? No, first date. Yeah. Or at least until she gets comfortable with you, yeah. you know what I mean? Because you're trying to win her over. Mm-hmm. That's the whole point. Oh, uh-huh. so this is, you've done this before? No comment. <laughs> okay. I tried to slip it in some way, somehow, but it's fine, okay. Hi, I'm saying hi to her. (laughs) (laughs) That's enough for me and Kojo Fund. Definitely tune in for our next episodes. Bye, guys. (laughs)